What up, everybody? Stay golden. Anyways, uh, continuing on my series of inexpensive items, mostly from Timu, some from Amazon, uh, that you can pick up for natural man-made disasters. Uh, Sergeant BA over at uh, Step 1 Survival just did an excellent review on an Amazon uh, first aid kit that basically was, he checked it out, so you don't have to buy it. And that's what my buddy uh, Spackman does over at uh, Adventures with Spackman. Check him out too. I'll leave both their links down below. But I was on Timu, and as you can see by the uh, cross right there, this is a first aid kit. This is, as they claim, a 192 piece kit for $15. Let's dig in and see how it looks. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's start with just the uh, bag itself. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of different, uh, different colors. This is just one of their digital things. I'm not so much worried about uh, stealth and camouflage and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's a good one. You got your straps here. You got Molly uh, webbing on the back and the front. Mm, got a nice strap right here. Just kind of play around with it. This way, if you have a uh, chest rig that just has a, a Velcro on it, you can just slap that right on there. You don't have to have it mollied up like that. You have an extra retention right there. And then let's open her up. Two zippers. And voila. As I said, uh, they say this is a 192 piece kit. And here we go. Starting off, got safety pins. Good for a whole lot of different things. Some cheap tweezers. I don't know if that would be good enough to get a stinger out or a splinter or anything like that, but I guess something's better than nothing. Here's a good bulk of the uh, 192 items. 100 Q-tips. Alcohol pads. Alcohol pads are always good. Multi-purpose, both for disinfecting, cleaning, and fire starting. These say antiseptic cleansing wipes sting free, so non-alcoholic. These contain water and benzoclonalum chloride. Let you look at that. You get, uh, let's see, what, eight of the ten? Ten of these, and one, two, three, four, five, six, like 20 of the alcohol pads. Band aids are always good. These are just little dot band aids. These are knuckles, knuckles, and regular band aids. You have a very cheap feeling. Aluminum whistle. Pretty loud. All right. Over on this side, got a regular old space blanket. Good to have in uh, just about any scenario that uh, you might be in because if you're in shock, uh, you're going to want it warmed up. If you're wet, anything like that. This is a Sam Splint or their generic version. So that you can make a splint for someone with a potentially broken either arm or leg slash foot. Burn dressing. I don't know what they consider a burn dressing. Uh, it may be impregnated with something. It doesn't say on it. It just says that it is sterile. Uh, it is a 40 centimeter by 60 centimeter. So these things are probably like a little, a little bit around two by two. Not very big. This is a very generic ace wrap for frames or whatever. This is a very big key thing that I always suggest for everybody. This is a cat style tourniquet. This is the best kind of tourniquet style to use. It does have instructions in there on it. Tiny little bit of tape, you know, something better than nothing. 
And then this is your emergency trauma bandage. So basically this is, is it an Israeli bandage? Da, 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 da. This is an Israeli bandage, which I've uh, shown before. Uh, these things come in handy for when you have holes in you that you're not supposed to have. And you put them on wherever and bandage it down so that you can stop the bleeding. That's the big thing. You want to control the bleeding. Uh, one thing that this does not have that I would suggest that I can see right now off the top is a chest seal. Get your stuff a chest seal. Uh, it also comes with a tiny little uh, ferro rod and striker. Something's better than nothing. You use that in conjunction with your alcohol pads. You have a fire source, fire starting source. You have a fire starter right there. You make stuff a little fire. You got one pair of the cheap vinyl gloves. Again, something's better than nothing. And then a triangle bandage for uh, your arms. And then a tiny pair of trauma shears. Again, something's better than nothing. Let me uh, lift you up. All right, everybody. This kit, if I remember right, it's about 15 bucks, 15, 16 bucks. For what you get, that's actually a decent price for it. These, yes, these, everything is generic. It's all uh, made in China. So it's not the name brand or anything like that. But getting started, something is always better than nothing. And for the price point, it's well worth it. It is well worth it. Would I upgrade some things in here? Yes. If I'm going to have a ferro rod, I'm going to get a much better ferro rod. I'm going to use a Nathan 4071. Uh, finest ferro rods in all the land for one thing these scissors they're actually sharp they'll get the job done i probably keep these just because of the size uh do i need q-tips no do i want these little plastic uh tweezers no do i want safety pins actually yeah i would keep those because you never know what you might need them uh I'll switch out this for an actual ice bandage. You know, you just gotta kinda, something is always better than nothing. Always better than nothing. And it's a nice thing with buying these things off of uh, Timu or whatever. You get these and you practice with them because they're inexpensive. And then you can actually get the name brand stuff, the nicer stuff that you don't have to use as a test base. So, for the money, it's well worth it. It is definitely well worth it. And I always suggest that you always have some sort of uh, first aid kit with you no matter what. You know, I carry my, uh, you can't really see it back there. I've got my, you know, talk about first aid and stuff like that. I always have my little fire extinguisher there. Of course, it's right next to the lighter fluid. But then I have my shooter kit that I take anytime I go shooting. Uh, cat style tourniquets. Big thing, these are really, uh, Israeli style bandages, always very good, but not bad. If you guys got questions, please let me know. Go check out uh, uh, Sergeant uh, BA over there, Step 1 Survival, uh, for his reviews. Uh, Skippy, she's an ER nurse. I'm a med surgeon nurse, a uh, registered nurse. Uh, so we got a little little experience playing around with, uh, with boo-boos. If you guys got questions, let me know. Talk to y'all later.